Hi everyone, I'm Ava and welcome to my beauty pantry where it's all about positive aging and keeping it real. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you enjoy this video and if you do, please subscribe and give it a big like. Today I'm going to show you my latest device which is my Fipushi radio frequency device. It's new to the market, so I'm really excited to share this with you today. I love the look and feel of this device. It's lightweight and very, very easy to use. It does charge with a USB cord, so it's not powered, which I really like because I can do it anywhere. I'm not, you know, confined to having a device that's near a PowerPoint and it's great for traveling it's compact and it just you know doesn't take up any room so it's perfect for traveling also what i like about this device is because it is so lightweight it's ideal for people with um, arthritic hands or just you know generally sore hands that's a great feature of this as well uh, this device has three levels of intensity uh, so I suggest when you start out with a, a radio frequency device if you haven't used one before it's best to start at the lowest level see how you go and work your way up from there radio frequency is great for skin tightening and rejuvenation Fapushi RF uses bipolar frequency so what this means is it uses waves of alternating currents that produce heat and it's the heat that penetrates deep into the dermis causing thermal damage which in turn stimulates the production of uh, collagen and elastin as well as encouraging blood flow. It also has a red LED light uh, which is great for cell renewal so that's another little feature that I do like about this device. Radio frequency can be used on all skin tones because it's working the layers deep beneath the skin surface, not the actual uh, skin surface itself. Now that was just a snippet of how radio frequency works. And if you'd like to know more about radio frequency, I highly recommend you check out my favorite RF Guru TJ from TJ Tutorials. Now I've put a link uh, in the description box to his YouTube channel and uh, he has he has done a, a video recently of the Fipushi RF using um, thermal imaging so he can detect if this device is actually reaching the temperature that it needs to to work and it does which is great check his video it's really interesting and very very impressive always make sure that you do your treatments on clean skin so remove your makeup with an oil free cleanser don't use any products that do contain oil because they inhibit the uh, the conductivity so always make sure that it's not oil based I'll just show you a little little bit about this Fipushi so it comes with a cap that you pull off and it has its prongs here there's four prongs and these need to be in contact with the skin at all times while you're using it when you turn it on there's a little button here you just turn it on like that and a red light comes on and also you see the red LED light in the center there so that's level one and then you just press it again level two and level three and off you go it does turn off after seven minutes and if you haven't finished an area you just turn it back on again so I'll just turn it off I'm just going to apply some aloe gel but before I do that if you've watched my previous um, video on my mic on the Fipushi Fi microcurrent device, you'll see that I use two because it cuts the time in half, and because these are so affordable, 
I've got two. So I'll be using my two by Pushy RFs today. I'll just apply some gel. You may have to reapply uh, because gel does tend to dry out. Now you can use an ultrasound gel as long as it's a conductive gel. I like to use my aloe gel that I make myself. Just apply a thin layer. I'm going to turn my Five Pushy RF on. Also, before I do that, I just need to point out that when you turn it on and you're working an area, place your thumb somewhere different because what I've done in the past is I've held my thumb on the actual on off button and I'm working away thinking mm, I don't think it's working and that's because I've turned it off without realizing so just move your thumb away from the on off button so I'll turn it on and I go up to level three because I've been doing it for a while and I'm used to it now we start off you use slow circular motions and you should feel the device heat up. And just keep moving it slowly in circular motions. after about a minute which is also a nice little feature you might notice that your skin turns a little bit pink and that's perfectly normal I like to concentrate on this area more because this is my problem area and I need to keep reminding myself to slow down my movements because I tend to go too fast so I'm going to slow it right down see my skin is turning pink So 
don't go close to the eye, stay away from your eyeball. drag here so I need to add a little bit more gel concentrating on this area. So that I think is seven minutes. It's they've turned off. So I will turn them back on again. Before I do that, I'll just apply a little bit more gel. too fast. And of course, you know, if you've got an area that is of more concern, you can work that area longer. I, I will go back down to my jail area and work that some more. You will feel the heat a little bit more on the forehead and that I believe is because there's less fat there. It's closer to the bone.
work around it. So you can use circular motions, you can use your sweeping or guiding motions. I, I find it easier to uh, use the gliding motions rather than the circular only because I do have problems with my hands and they do become very sore with certain movements. And that's why I really I really like this device because it is it's easy to hold and it is so light. To finish it off, I'll just turn them off. Just apply a little bit more gel to this area. Turn them back on. And I'll just work this area a little bit more now. You don't have to do this. I just like to give this an, a really good workout. It feels really nice. You can just feel your skin heating up. It's just nice and warm. And the, the good thing with having two devices is you're doing the same movements on either side. So there's no remembering, you know, how many passes did I do? How many circles did I do? You just do it together. And 
that's it for me. I'll just turn them off. And you can you can just feel a little bit of tightness happening. It just feels really nice. Don't wash your face for 30 minutes or so. Let your skin cool down. I think that the Fipushi RF and the Fipushi microcurrent device complement each other. They work really well together. I'll do a treatment of this and then I will do a after, straight afterwards I'll do a treatment of my microcurrent and I just love it. it my skin feels so so good afterwards and I am seeing better results than what I was before. You don't use this device every day. You use it three times a week. Now I'm going to follow TJ's suggestion here. He suggests you use it three times a week for six weeks and then drop it down to once a week for another six weeks and after that go once a month. So you only use it, you end up only using it once a month. After you've finished your treatment, make sure to clean uh, your device. Use a damp cloth and just thoroughly clean the, the what are they called? Probes or prongs? I'm not sure, but clean them. Just make sure that they're free of, you know, any residue that might be sitting on there because that could interfere with the uh, flow of the current. So that's all you need to do. And it's pretty much it. Uh, I mean, I love it. I think it's a great device. My skin still feels warm to touch. Well, that's it for today's video. I hope that uh, you have found it helpful. And if you have, please don't forget to subscribe and give it a like. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Take care and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.